What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon. And um You already know what time it is. A tip to talk. Alright guys, what's going on? As you see, your boy has upgraded. I have this freaking awesome Arctic insulated mug. Shout out to my man, O Yard Boy. Oh shoot, dropped it already. Um, he sent that to me. And it's crazy because I see people with like the Yetis and the other brands and stuff like that. And uh, so I started doing my research and uh, found out which one I want. And I actually got this one right here. Y'all see, this is my mirror. The, the name actually rubbed off. It used to be right there. But it's Mira, M-I-R-A. And the reason I, I never got a Yeti because, you know, I had kind of wanted like a bottle style, kind of like this, but I didn't know they made them. And so I saw somebody at one of my trainings at work, they had one. And theirs was like a 17 ounce, this is a 25 ounce. And I looked it up, found it, and I'm like, I gotta get it. So I got this bad boy. And so um, I take it to work, put ice in it, ice stays in it all day. And I fill it up like a couple of times with water and stuff. So then I, I was, I loved it so much, cause I even use it at home because one thing about these they don't sweat so because a couple times you know because i take a, a cup of water to bed at nighttime and what happens is the water will condensate and it'll sweat and then my i wake up and my phone will be in a pool of water you know <laughs> on the on the nightstand and so i'm like crap so but with these they don't condensate and the ice stays in there all night long so that's why i love these so i said i gotta get a cup for the house, you know what I mean? I take this to work. I, I, I don't know if you can see all the spots. I just dropped this thing. You got little spots on there. Got dents in the top. I done dropped it, but it's still trucking. <clears throat> but I said, I gotta get a cup for the house. So I was gonna get a 20 ounce one. And this man then sent me a freaking, um, where's that look like? Freaking, 32 ounce with the logo ha! crazy so I have officially retired the red cup officially so today I'm gonna start off talking about a couple of tipsy talks ago I talked about oh yeah I always forget to tell people I got in it the usual bourbon I'll tell y'all the kind of bourbon yeah if y'all are bourbon drinkers y'all need to find this it's called bird dog I'm not sure what state is made in Kentucky I'm not sure anywho bird dog is a flavor bourbon and they got a whole bunch of flavors peach apple um, blackberry um, jalapeno honey uh, grapefruit or something but they got a whole bunch. My two favorites are the blackberry and the apple. This is the apple right here. Delicious. You know. Anywho, <clears throat> a couple videos ago I was talking about <sighs> oh getting a new trailer. And um everybody was like, oh you need to go bigger. You know, you need to get a a, a bigger trailer, you're gonna regret it. You know why I don't need a bigger trailer? Y'all see that big mofo over there? <laughs> Y'all see Rocky, but Y'all see that big mofo over there? I do not need no bigger trailer. That's 7 by 16. That's why I'm getting a smaller one. But anyway, well, basically what I'm trying to say is the reason I'm getting this trailer is not for size. It's just for something for my Magnum. And I'm going to later explain my ideal setup. And what I mean by ideal setup is not happening next year. I know a lot of people will, um, you know, they'll, they'll say, oh, 
Seth's gonna get this, Seth's gonna get that. No, 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 no. I said ideal. That means like dream. That means like what I, my goals, what I hope to get, you know? But I wanna get like a five by 10 trailer, which will be, you know, pretty much maxing out what I wanna carry with my uh, <clears throat> Magnum. And, and no, I'm, unless it's an emergency, I'm gonna try not to carry my zero turn and my walk behind on it at the same time if they fit but i will carry either or so say i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna cut um you know some yards or something some small yards i'll take my walk behind my bowlings my one of my echoes and i'll go out and knock some yards out and then i can send bj and you know somebody else out with my van and my big trailer and they can take the gravely and if need be they could take the um the um time master right here or they could take all three and take um the troy bill back there and have all of them and you know they could go knock some yards out all day anywho <clears throat> that that's why i'm getting the smaller trailer you know i'm not trying to get it because you know, I need a big trailer. I just need something small. Now, I'm, the reason I want to tell you my ideal vehicle setup. This is not my ideal equipment setup. This is my ideal vehicle setup. <clears throat> because that's why I'm planning to get this 5x6 trailer. My ideal vehicle setup. My first vehicle is going to be three, three vehicles, right? My first setup is going to be my van, which could be my Astro van if it lasts which I hope it will, my Astro van and the 5x10 trailer that I plan to get. The reason I, I, what I'm planning to do with that is I want to have a, um, I want to use that as my full-time fertilization setup. You get what I'm saying? Oh, what was that? My full-time fertilization setup. Which means that, uh, you know, basically that setup, I'm going to go out for a large yards. I plan to get um, like a permagreen or, or Toro has one of those um, stand-on sprayers slash spreaders. So I could just go out and then I could possibly use that trailer to put a tank on. And the tank's not going to be for spraying. I might eventually get it to that point. But it's going to be for... Um, for refilling the, the sprayer you know I got I'm gonna have that sprayer on there and I don't need water so you know I don't want to always be using the customers water I can have my own water fill it up boom 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 so anywho um that's gonna be that setup you know what I mean because the van will be perfect I can store all my uh you know lime and fertilizers and seeds and all that stuff in there so boom 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 my second setup ideal setup will be it's going to be a whole new vehicle and a whole new trailer. It's going to be a four, some type of four-door truck with a dump bed on it. And then the trailer is going to be an enclosed trailer. The reason I went this direction is because, <clears throat> you know, once you start, I, I'm starting to notice, I don't have that much equipment, but I'm starting to notice that once you have equipment that, you know, storage starts to get kind of, you know, scarce, <laughs> you know, start to run out of storage. So by getting the enclosed trailer, that's one less place I got to worry about having equipment and I can lock it up in there. And also, like, if I send a crew out, <laughs> All they got to do is just go pick up that truck and trailer and go. You know what I mean? And it's already set up for them to mow. It's just like a mowing setup. Now, I'm still going to have my trailer that I got here. But that's going to be more for hauling stuff. Or in case I got to go to two separate places, I could hook that trailer back up to the van and go haul it and go do that. Boom, boom, boom. So those are my two setups right there. My third setup is going to be a box truck. I don't know if you guys seen, 
I don't know if you guys seen those box trucks with the ramps on the back. I love that. And the reason I want one of those is because it's compact. And it's compact and um, it can uh, Like we have areas in in um in I live in the Richmond area and there's some areas it's like I'm not gonna say fancy but they're like historic you know what I mean I'm pretty sure every city or area has it they're like these old houses that people that maybe pass down from generation to generation and they probably cost you know eight hundred thousand to a million or something like that in those areas some of those roads are like real small. So if you think about it, if I'm getting a big old full a quad cab truck with a dump bed and then a long old like 20 foot trailer, that's like freaking 30 some feet of, of setup, you know, and trying to find parking and whip that around, you know, it's going to be, you know, hard. So, or when I have to go do commercial stuff and, you know, a commercial place might have a small parking lot. I don't want to have this big old long setup, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm reaching for that, you know, so then I have a, a compact setup. You know, I'll still have, be able to fit equipment in there, but, you know, it's, um, uh, you know, more compact or whatever. But those are my three setups. <sighs> this is a little quick tipsy talk. That's really, I really just want to show off my cup. I'm so hyped about this junk. I have not put this junk down. I opened the box up yesterday and I have been drinking from this. I don't think I'm ever going to drink from any other cup. <laughs> as soon as I finish, you know, drinking some, some um, bourbon or whatever, um, I rinse it out and I put some water in it and I start drinking some water in it. <laughs> then when I go to sleep, I put some more water in it. This thing's freaking awesome. Anywho, my next video, stay tuned for that. Some people are asking me to make a tipsy talk about uh, my goals and plans for 2017. So I'm going to talk about that and what kind of equipment that I'm going to get in 2017. So look out for that. And let me get in the house because it's getting dark, as y'all can see. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Yes, sir.